what I will talk about now is keeper graphs as in the small graphs because those those three data points we've talked about Amazon new price and sales rank they are the only three data points that you get to see when you look at the small keeper graphs so now I'm going to give you an example of looking at some small keeper graphs which a lot of service providers a lot of tools use so let me just load this up so what I'm going to do now is go into uh, a Slack channel. Now, this Slack channel is um, a Slack channel that we use for Fast Track FBA. And if you don't know, that's a lead service which I provide. And all our customers, whether you're paid or, um, you know, or don't pay, you can get a free account, have access to this channel. It costs nothing. And you can access it on your mobile or on your PC. And the reason why it's quite useful is the fact that we highlight deals immediately through the phone or through the PC using these the Slack channel, you know, using these this the Slack channel to show the information. And the graph just allows us to give you a very quick visual representation of a product. And just by looking at this graph, the majority of the time you'll be able to say, yes, I want to look at that product more, or no, I don't want to look at that product more. So what I want to do now is just take a, take a few of these. I'm not going to go into the actual product because you know see it for real life because unfortunately I'd have to unlock the deals and share that with everyone and that would be a problem for the people who already purchased them but what I can do is just talk about the graph and what I see and how I would view them and what my thoughts would be are on them so let me just kind of scroll randomly up so I'm gonna look say let's say for example let's start it here uh, actually let's find one a bit easier okay here so this graph here and um, if I can I go open I can't get open can I if I zoom in to try and make it easier on your your screen so hopefully you can see this a little bit bigger than me or a little bit bigger on your screen because I've zoomed in. Now this graph here is is showing three data points. So we've got number one, the Amazon information. So that is this line here. Oh, can I zoom in? Uh, zoom in. Ah, yes. Sorry, this might make you, this makes your life a lot easier. So the quality is not great, but I can zoom in and make it bigger for you. So we've got this Amazon line here, and you can see the price of Amazon changes. Then also we've got the new price here, which is going along the bottom here. And then also as well, we've got the sales rank, which is this line here and going across that. Now, the one thing just to remember is all of these graphs, and it's not set, but for our service and for the majority of services, they will always show the 90 day graphs. So basically this graph is showing over a 90 day period. So for you is just always remember that, that you're looking at the information over the last three months. Now. For me, what, what can I see from this graph just by looking at it? So for me, really, when I'm looking at this graph, the one thing which I'd just say is that while I can see the Amazon price and I can see a very good estimation of what the new price is, doesn't actually tell me what it's selling for because the buy box price is not what's shown on this graph. So just be careful of that. But the one thing which I really look at, in my, my opinion, is I'm looking at this green line. And that's pretty much it. I'm looking at the green line, or I might also look at the orange line to see if Amazon's on the listing. But when I look at the green line, the thing which I'm really looking for and I'm trying to understand is what's the movement in this line. So see here, what I can see is this line kind of goes down, and then up, and then 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 down, and then up. Now, what does that tell me? So I'm just going to kind of talk through. So this is in a category whereby what happens is if you think about, if I come back to sales rank again, you've got the number one best selling product and then you've got like the millionth best selling product. And when you kind of get higher up the categories, these products, you know, maybe they might be like 100,000, they generally don't sell as much. But it might be that, you know, if they sell once a month, then one of those products would, you know, she say sell, and then that would now come under this one, and then maybe halfway through the month this one sells, and that one moves under. So what, what you're seeing is that these products move around. Unless all of a sudden, you know, it starts selling a lot, then it will start moving down, i.e. it will become closer to one. And the reason why I talk about that is you can see this part of the line going up here. Now, if I make it a little bit easier and use the snippet tool, and I can draw on it. So this little part of the line here, if I get a red pen going up, that is just where that you know other products are selling. And this is our product, by the way. Other products are selling and moving down, and our product slowly moving up in the sales rank, not really doing anything. And then all of a sudden, this product sells. Bang. It drops down. So we can see that drop here. So for me, I would look at this and say, I can see one sale. And then we can see that the same process again. It goes up and up and up and up, and then it goes down again. So I can see another sale. 
and then it goes up and up and up and up and up and then it drops down again and I can see another cell and then it goes up and up and up and then down again and another cell and then finally up 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 and then down again so what I'm looking at and people talk about this is called counting the drops on keeper so you're saying here it's slowly moved up 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 and then it's sold bang and then it's moved up 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 again sold and then up 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 again sold so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing that this is sold one two three four five times now there are going to be lots of software tools lots of things which are giving you information and when you look at um, the higher ranks and I'll show you in a minute those tools are very useful but when you're looking at much lower sales like and you can see these drops these keeper drops are really useful because they can give you a very very good indication of what it's selling at and over time so here we've just seen so that this has got five drops so for me I would say this product has sold five times in that 90 day period so quite simply what you're going to do you're going to get your calculator up and you're going to do 90 divided by 5 and you're going to say it's going to sell one time every 18 days on average so if I was going to buy this product I would estimate that it's going to sell once per 18 days and that's how I did my sums so I would go from there so for me what I'm looking at is this green line and I'm looking for really the movement in the green line to really understand how much movement is there and how much does it sell now let's just have a quick look through so I'll minimize that and come out of this and if I kind of scroll down so we've got here a bit more you know a bit of movement as well we've got this one a little bit of movement as well on here this one's got a lot more you can see lots of easy to see drops down here coming down and then here it gets really fuzzy like you know it's just too much you can't count the lines so yeah that's a good thing it sells a lot which is great um, here again you, you can see these drops and then when you kind of get down to this area there's quite a lot of movement and for me I wouldn't be able to count those so I'd say that it's not viable to count that especially when you get down here it's not viable and the thing which you look at is see here like this is doing drops at 10,000 um, I'm just gonna say look this is home and garden category this is a different category baby products and this is doing you know this down at 5,000 isn't as you know, isn't the same as this so every category is different so what I'm really looking at is just these this green line and that movement in the green line so for you is you now you might think hey you know what well I just want to go find deals which are looking like this all the time I want fast sellers and hey you can do that that's a sourcing technique that if you want to do it I only want fast movers not a problem but also as well you could do it actually I want the products which are going to be really you know are not selling so quick but have great ROI now let's say for example this product if I click on this one and load it up and zoom in this one we're gonna say one drop we come in on one two three four five maybe six I don't know that could be a movement seven we've got the final one there now you might say look well, it's only sold seven in 90 days so hey that's rubbish you know it's not sold very well so 90 divided by seven it's selling every nearly 13 days but hey you know what this is doing you're buying at 25 pound selling at 65 pound so that's 94 percent ROI now you're, what you're generally going to find is that the products which are faster moving will have a lower ROI not all the time but generally but the products which sell less you could probably find higher ROI so if you're looking to should we say have a balanced portfolio of stock you might have some really high, high ROI stock which is not selling so fast but it's going to give you a great return when it does because you know it does sell and then you might have some other stock which gives you a decent ROI but not as good but it just turns all the time all the time and that's about spreading your risk and you know choosing different things and also how much cash flow you've got and how you want your business to run hey if you want a really simple business you might go out there and buy lots and lots of products which sell very rarely but give you a massive ROI so you don't really have to check Amazon every day you just see the odd sale here and then but you know that every time you sell you're making 23 25 pound which is fantastic so for me and if I just come back through what I'm looking for when I view these graphs and any keeper graph the first thing is what is that green line doing I'm looking to see how much movement in the green line there is so you can just see here that's all I'm looking at if I'm not seeing any movement like let's say for example if we come back to this if I'm just seeing a green line going in across not interested just hasn't sold I'm looking for those drops or if the green line is down here like really really low then I'm happy I'm happy with that but if I just see a straight green line and I'll draw it with blue pen this time 
up here and it's not moving doesn't drop and I'm not really happy with that I hope you found this really useful really informative um, please 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 if you like it give me a big like I love like or give me a love heart honestly love love hearts um, and also drop some comments drop comments down below even if you just liked it hey Tom love this thank you so much um, or if you've got questions please let me know drop them down the bottom so for me Thomas Parkinson Fast Track FBA thank you very much <laughs>